Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Rush Lefters. And it's no surprise that the Sega Dreamcast is one of my favorite consoles of all time. And it's no surprise that the Nintendo Switch is quickly rising in those ranks as we speak. I've created a list of games that I would like to see in a compilation on the Nintendo Switch. These are gonna be broken down into a sports, action, fighters, and a bunch of other different categories. So I'll do a separate video for each one of these. So today I'm starting off with Dreamcast's arcade compilation for the Switch. You can't add an arcade style sports game without adding NFL Blitz. NFL Blitz took arcades by storm with its arcadey feel of a football game. NFL Blitz had licensed teams and it was an unbelievable arcade smash hit. I remember putting in so many quarters and mashing those buttons, trying to get big head mode or different types of modes that you were playing against a fellow opponent. I still put NFL Blitz in to this day when I have a party just to mash up a few buttons together and have a few drinks with friends and just get some games going with some NFL licensing. Ready to Rumble. Back in the early 2000s, boxing games were a big craze. Games like Fight Night and Ready to Rumble were at the top of the list when it came to pristine boxing games. If you wanted a more arcadey feel, you played Ready to Rumble. If you wanted a more simulated feel, you played Fight Night. I felt that the arcadey feel was more at home with me. Ready Rumble 1 has 16 fighters, each individual in their own character styles and own animation styles and super moves and all that. And it was fun playing with these over charismatic characters and playing them through your title runs. It was such a great game. Ready to Rumble 2, on the other hand, upped the ante with 23 playable characters. And would you believe it? Michael Jackson actually became a playable character. Being an iconic character in this game was pretty fun to see. Virtual Tennis. When we played Wii Tennis, it kind of brought me back to what the original first tennis game I've actually ever played on any console. And that was Virtual tennis it brought back so much memories playing Wii tennis and playing this again it just knocked me for a loop I remember playing these mini games for hours just unlocking so many different things getting tennis ball up against the wall to knock down boxes or so many other mini games that you had using actual real world players in the first one was mind-boggling for an arcade game head-to-head -head mode was unbelievable playing that being able to play on so many different courses and doing the replays and seeing so many different things was it was such a great game just arcade feel and arcade fun in your home and that's what the Sega Dreamcast brought to you Dynamite Cop and Zombies Revenge Dynamite Cop is a straightforward actually really fast action adventure game it's actually very short there's not much to it. you could probably beat it in maybe 45 minutes to an hour it has branching paths you have various weapons to pick up and you could use just about anything to your disposal to fight the enemies. You're dropped in and set loose on your path to save the president's daughter. You can just about use anything that's in the game. You could use tables, you could use chairs, you could use rocket launchers, you could use a nuke. You could just use about anything and fight your way to the president's daughter. There's a few quick time events that allow you to go to different branching paths of the ship. Even though it's a short but quick game, it's really, really fun. And Zombie Revenge is kind of like a cross between Resident Evil, House of the Dead, and Dynamite Cop. That has all those things melded into one game and you birth Zombie Revenge. You have zombies, you have monsters, you have the same fighting styles, you have the same equipment basically to fight your way to get to the very end. It's a great game that holds up to any beat-em-up standard today. There's not many beat-em-up genres or beat-em-up games that are being released by today's standards. And this was probably one of my favorite ones of past memory. I'm gonna be breaking down these Dreamcast games to be brought back to the Nintendo Switch in their own compilations. Like I said, fighters, sports, action, and racers. And hopefully Nintendo sees this video and actually puts this forward, but please let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys.